Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're ready for Christmas. As the title of this video said, uh, today I'll be making a crushed candy cane cake with peppermint frosting. And here I just have all the ingredients laid out. Uh, we've got store-bought cake mix. I know I cheated in that aspect, but it'll be alright. We have peppermint extract, vanilla frosting, four candy canes we're going to crush, three egg whites, one cup of water, and we're going to need a third cup of vegetable oil. Now, as I said, this is store-bought cake mix, so, hey, it's the classic white cake, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in a bowl here. You know, that'll get that out of the way. There we go. And we're also going to preheat the oven in just a second here. Now we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Um, that shouldn't take long at all. And we'll continue with the cake. Now I've got our four candy canes here and I'm going to crush them. And this isn't the smartest decision in the world um, to use a hammer on a ceramic tile counter. Which is why I'm very, very gently crushing these. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to crush these candy canes. Uh, you barely tap them and they fall apart. So that's good. I uh, definitely would not recommend using a hammer on a ceramic tile countertop, though. As I said, definitely not the smartest decision in the world. <laughs> but luckily, it doesn't take a whole lot of force to crush these candy canes. Now, I know a lot of um, baking and cooking videos on YouTube, you know, the people try these recipes out first, and if they turn out great, then they do a video on them. I don't do that. Um, this is the first time I've made it, so you're seeing the initial run right here, the... Uh, so if this turns out really bad, you're going to see it. If it turns out really good, you're still going to see it. So let me go ahead and put this hammer back. Give me just one second. Alright. Now we've got our crushed can and canes down there. That's good. That turned out great. Now we're going to take this one cup of water, we're going to put it in here in our bowl with our cake mix. Alright. And we're going to take our three egg whites, just the egg whites. Add that in as well. Now I've never understood why you can't use the yolk. I'm going to try the yolk one day and see how it turns out. Now here's our one third cup of vegetable oil. Pour that in there too. And we're going to add our crushed candy canes. And we're going to do this one-handed, see how it turns out. <laughs> it's a lot harder to do things one-handed, holding a, holding a camera with one hand, or actually the phone, recording this on the phone, and trying to work with the other hand. And we got one little piece stuck in the bag here. Let me get it out. As I said, it's harder one-handed than you think. There we go. All right. Maybe I should have used more candy canes. I don't know. We'll go with four, though. All right. Now we're just gonna beat these all together, mix them up. Now, since I'm since I'm using the electric beater, um, this is usually where I put in something like Michael Jackson's "Beat It" in the background. But you know, YouTube would be anal about it and get me for a copyright infringement or something like that. So, no Michael Jackson "Beat It" in the background. Sorry, guys. <laughs> YouTube is really ridiculous with their copyright claims now, so... Uh, gotta be careful which music you use in the background. Oh, we're just gonna mix this up for a little while. It shouldn't take too long. I'm just glad the candy cane pieces aren't flying everywhere. Alright, here we go. That is mixed. You see a couple of candy cane pieces there. And we're just going to put it in this pan here. We're going to spray it with some Pam cooking oil so the cake won't stick to the pan. There we go. Well, maybe. That didn't really... Wow. Uh, we'll have to spray that again. There we go. The can's almost empty, so didn't want to come out. And we'll just pour this mix in the bowl. Just like that. You see those candy cane pieces coming out? Just yes, sir. 
And we'll just get a rubber spatula and scoop the rest of that mix out. Don't want to waste it. Alright, we've got all the mix in our little baking pan here. Now the oven has preheated, so we're going to go ahead and stick this cake in. Ooh, might be time to clean the stove. Mm, wow. <laughs> Eh, I think it's time to clean the uh, the window. Good lord. That's embarrassing. Alright. We're going to put this in for about 26 minutes. And if we need to put it in for longer, we will. But we'll start with 26 minutes. Alright. Now, while that's baking, we're going to go ahead and make our peppermint frosting. Uh, this is going to be really simple. Uh, if you're not a fan of peppermint, you're going to hate this next part. We'll just have some pure peppermint extract and classic vanilla frosting. Now, I'm, I'm going to be very, very, very generous with the extract here. Uh, a lot of people are going to hate this part. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, as I said, if you don't like peppermint, uh, you're definitely not going to like that. And we're just going to mix it all up. And you can definitely smell the peppermint in it, so that's good. I'm just going to mix this up really well. It should. If all goes well, it will taste like peppermint. We'll have peppermint frosting. And like I said, we'll just get it mixed really well here. Alright, let's take a taste and see how it turned out. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is peppermint frosting, folks. Nothing else needs to be done. We got it. Alright, that is awesome. So there we have it. We have our peppermint frosting. We're good to go. I just have to wait for the cake to bake. We have 17 minutes left for until the cake is done. So, 17 minutes, we'll get the cake out, let it cool down. Man, I'm kind of thirsty, so uh, let's go get something to drink. I want to go out in the garage here. Uh, Just ignore that mattress and that uh, box spring set. I have to take those to the dump, but it's too cold to go out yet. And this is a Christmas present right here. As you see, I put the do not remove. And we had to take our lamp out, so we have room for the Christmas tree. And here we go, my drink of choice. Grab our ice cold Coke. Um, Coke Coca Cola goes well with anything, man. Um, especially when it's ice cold. So, well, if I can get back in the house, there we go. <laughs> All right, so get something to drink, and we'll just wait for this cake to get done, man. Sixteen more minutes, we'll be ready to go. Cake is done, and I'll just take it out and see how it turned out. Mm, look at all that steam coming up. Oh, that looks good. That smells good, too. I can see one of the candy cane pieces right there. Now, I'm sure most of the candy cane pieces have melted. Uh, that one might be the exception right there. Now that looks good, man. Um, now we're not going to put the frosting on right away. We're going to give this cake time to cool down because if I were to put the frosting on right now, of course it would just melt and it'd be a big mess. So we're going to wait about uh, 20, 30 minutes. It's 11:14 a.m. right now, so maybe by 11:44 we'll go ahead and put the frosting on. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and cake has cooled down. We're going to go ahead and put this peppermint frosting on and call it done. Now, I'm a big fan of frosting, so um, I'm going to end up using the whole can or the whole container. So, if you're not a fan of frosting, you're going to really, really, really hate this part. 
Uh, we're just going to get a big old glob of it up there to start with and just spread it out. This smells awesome, man. The cake, you can smell the uh, candy cane in the cake, you can smell the peppermint on the frosting. And like I said, man, um, I have not tested this out beforehand. Um, this is the initial run, I guess you can call it, so... Yeah. That's one thing, If I when I do my cooking and baking videos, um, I never try them out beforehand. I record as I'm doing it the very first time, so... Because I always hate to watch videos and everything turns out perfect. You know good and well. Nothing comes out perfect every time you do it. So if I make something and it ends up being horrible, you're going to see it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to keep spreading this frosting out. Now look, it looks kind of bad right now. Uh, it'll be beautiful by the time it's done. I'll just get some more frosting up here. Get these corners. It's so one thing I've noticed about uh, spreading frosting on cakes. For some reason, the corners are just hard to do, man. They're hard to get for some reason. But rest assured, they will be covered in frosting by the time we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to frost the whole cake, man. We're just going to use the whole container uh get the frosting all over. So, there we go. I've skipped ahead a little bit, uh got all the frosting on here and since it's Christmas we're gonna add some red and green sp uh, sugar sprinkles here and of course I just got it all over the counter way to go <laughs> and we're gonna call that done voila there you have it folks a crushed candy cane cake with peppermint frosting it smells awesome and I can't wait to try it